This is Twit. There is a question from um, IRC. Uh, I'm so about self-hosting. Um, Self-hosting can mean a lot of things anymore, right? Because of the cloud. Self-hosting could mean uh, the the cloud host that I own a slice of or that I purchase a slice of, or it could mean the server that's underneath my desk that's making all that background noise that's annoying everybody when I talk. Uh, so uh, is self-hosting, uh, I'm sure it's possible, but is is that a, a common use or do, you, or do most people uh, tend to just uh, I- implement this in cloud services? Or it's possible that you don't know. Um, and the other question before I answer that is, uh, does NextCloud integrate um, Edisync or Edibase right now? Okay, so let's start with the first question. Um, definitely first class citizen. If you go on our RSC channel, I think at least 80% of them self-host. Um, <laughs> We have like a community Docker uh, image that makes it extremely easy, but you can also just download the source code and run it. It's a simple Python application. You don't even have to use Postgres. You can use SQLite. We really made it, you know, we made sure that it was very easy to just get started. Um, and as for your Nextcloud question, uh, no, there's no, no integration with Nextcloud at the moment. The problem is that Nextcloud supports CalDAV and CARDAV and all of those protocols that are not encrypted by design. And you know, if it was possible to add support to Nextcloud, we would have done that. But the problem is that the, the client needs to be aware of the encryption, so it can't be done on the server side. I, I'd like to ask about um, encrypted apps in general. I mean, I'm, I'm very familiar with uh, encrypted channels, you know, and, and, and using those. And I tend to think of um, encryption primarily in a communication context, but not in an app context. And so I'm wondering about the whole category. Are you, are you in the lead there? Is, is this, is this a category at this point? Um, where, where is that going? I'm, 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 I'm more of a, a rookie on that one. I had never, I actually not thought about encrypted applications before and, and what their significance are. Yes, I think we all, we are all, uh, we'll have to wait and see how the industry goes. Um, but the way to think about it is consider an encrypted application as if they were local, just happen to be hosted on a server. So all of the data, all of the uh, logic is done locally. Um, the, you have full ownership of the data as if it was your drive. Um, and that, that's the idea. There are not a lot of applications like this at the moment, but there are a few uh, proprietary entered encrypted uh, Dropbox alternatives, for example. So I'm wondering about running on a running an encrypted app on a host, on a on a hosted server. You know, like is is an AWS or something going to want to run something that they can't? They don't know what it is. I mean, if it's fully encrypted, would you know? I mean, I I love the idea, but I'm wondering if 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 hosting services might be allergic to it. Um, again, that we'll have to wait and see. I, I we haven't gotten any negative feedback, and now. You know, I think was it Lavabit? I think they had to shut down at some point. They were they um they had like an encrypted email application. Right. But I think once yeah. you self host, especially, yeah. But once you self host, I think there's there's unlikely to be any resistance because it's you know it's up to you as the user. I don't think they're gonna just go and ban applications. I don't know. It sounds very Orwellian, um, but who knows? <laughs> 